Hello everyone, Deborah here in my crafting room. So you like to see some of my butterflies, what I uh, used to color them with uh, way, way back in the beginning when I started. The dye that I used came in a pack of four, so I had uh, cutouts for the front and the back. I have a Sizzix Big Kick Vintage. I use that to uh, cut them out. So I would color the front, color the back, um, use some different products, you know, to give them a little, a little shine. Didn't have anything really to color them with, so I was using makeup sponges, and those work great. A little color on the sponge, you know, and then onto the butterfly. Come out really nice. Then I didn't have enough sponges, so I went out and got daubers, and the daubers worked really nice, too. So now I'm going to try some new product I have, compare them with the Ranger Distress inks. The Versa Magic Dewdrop come in a pack of four. I have the Night Sky, the Sea Breeze, uh, Pixie Dust, and Spring Pansy. I think this was one of the first dice that I bought. One cuts the top, the other one embosses the bottom. And I bought another, another pack of well, cuts and stamps. So I got that one and thought I'd give that a try and The bigger ones I embossed. I don't know, I'm still up in the air, I think, a little bit whether I really like them or not. I think maybe I should probably put the, a little color on it first or maybe after. I do like how it embosses. After I got them cut out, then I'll take the stamp and put a stamp on the top of it and do a little painting and inking and I haven't done it yet, so let's see how it turns out. I may have to stamp a bunch of them and ink a bunch of them before I decide which ones I like. I think I got these uh, stamps and um, dies from, from Michaels. I've had them for quite a while, but I think that's where I got them from. This tray of inks, they're glimmer, very nice shimmer to them. Uh, I got a Joann's. You activate it by spritzing some water onto it and you let it sit for a little bit. And I think my favorite one was the purple. The gelatos I got for painting my Butterflies, I think I got that from, see there's my purple shimmer, real pretty. My gelatos that I use, I think I got those from Amazon. 
But these will last, these the shimmers, these will last for a long time. I really like the um, paintbrush that comes with this. It's not like a hair paintbrush. Um, so it stains a little bit, but I really like this brush. The sponges, I don't know, I kind of tried. Um, really wasn't sure what I was doing. I tried it when it was dry and maybe I should have got it wet or something, I don't know, but it was a very stiff and I wasn't crazy about it. I really prefer using a spatula. I just scrape a little bit off, and a little bit goes a long way. You don't have to scrape off a lot. My mini mister from Ranger. I'm not sure where or why I bought this when I have little spray bottles that I kept from when I wore contact lenses. So I have these little spray bottles and I could just use those instead, but I don't know. I'm not sure where I got this one from. The one thing I didn't know that you could do with uh, gelatos is you actually can tint gesso, uh, any kind of mixed medium. Uh, you can actually tint the, the color with these things. Well, I'm going to have to give that a try. I like the way the color goes on paper. Uh, you basically can put gelatos on anything, but I really like how this paintbrush just puts the the color on the paper on the paper. I would like to see these on the store shelf because I'd actually like to buy some more of these brushes. They're a pretty color. I heard and I thought that's a good idea after I heard somebody say it save your paper towels save your baby wipes don't throw them away you can use them on your mixed media pages you just glue them to your pages and go from there everything on top of it what a good idea I do have a lot of scrap paper so a lot of times I will Try to wipe the mess up, you know, onto scrap paper and use some dyes and cuts up like some flowers or something like that. My blocks, I want to say I got those in like a three pack. Of course, on Amazon, every time I buy something on Amazon, they make a donation to my Great Dane Rescue. So I will buy like most of my stuff on Amazon. My water pens, I want to say, I think I bought that from Wish.com. I wasn't quite sure about, you know, the company. So it's okay, let me buy one thing. And I bought water water brushes from them. The pink is uh, pixie dust. 
little light pink background. Didn't want it to be too, too much pigment since I wanted to put something else on top of it. This I didn't know until somebody told me. You warm up your heating tool before you actually start drawing your paper. Because if it's warmed up beforehand, then your paper doesn't curl so much. I have got to find me a pair of hemostats. I know I have some somewhere in this house, maybe out in the garage. I hate using tweezers. I can't. I can't pinch the tweezers <laughs> without letting go, and, and then I gotta pick everything up off the floor. So I think I have to find me some hand stuff. I never did mention what I used for your antennas. On my smaller butterflies, you'll see little black antennas which I cut out from my die that I got from Heartfelt Creations from the Sunrise Lily. It's actually like the stamens for the flower. Versamar magic and water and painting the butterfly before I do the stamp on top of it. Haven't done it yet, so this will be the first time. Let's see how it goes. The night sky, blue, very nice blue. If I don't want the color to be too strong, then I just kind of brush it across the stamp. Just try to line it up as best I can, and if it's lined up, fine. If it's not, no big deal. Just kind of practicing right now. And the two colors look pretty good together. I think the best part about it that I like was the little swirls. I tried two different colors and see what else I get for a pattern. But the two colors looked okay. That paintbrush I have had for 40 years was given to me when I was in school by my art teacher. Kid you not, I still have like the original spatula and paintbrushes. forget to clean my stamps. Don't forget to save your baby wipes because you can when they're dried out set them off to dry and then you can use them in your mixed media pages. Oh yeah. Gotta try some embossing. Not sure why people do this but when I bought this blue tray they had a big sticker smacked right in the middle of it do they not know what you're going to use this for and how long it's going to take you to get all that glue off of it really smart people <laughs> really smart
think some of the colors in the package of um, embossing powder that I got, some of the colors actually work better than the others, like the gold and silver. Um, the lighter colors seem to emboss a little bit better. You have to make sure that you don't put it on too light. the hemostats. <laughs> Please. I gotta give me some hemostats. Actually, I like the way these two colors turned out. I didn't show one of the items that I used on my butterflies. The Wink of Stella. Uh, brush. I had the um, sparkle uh, brush. I went along the top part of the two and pieces for the butterflies. One for the top part. I made it. Made it real pretty. up with this camera. It has the hardest time with focusing. I actually have my tripod sitting up on top of my table here. I never have the best angle, so <laughs> I'm going to try to get somebody to put one overhead for me. See if that might help. Love glossy accents. Gives it a really nice wet look. Nice shine. I don't have very many stickles. Um, I only bought a few some time ago for the purpose of uh, using them on the butterflies. So on the body of this one, I had a little uh, bit of gold just to give it a little extra. I think I only have like maybe four stickles. <laughs> Another purchase from Amazon. It was an add-on, so I only paid like five bucks. I think if you buy like $25, if you can get something for an add-on for like five bucks. And it just happened to be the glue pen, so I grabbed it. The tip is white to start out with and like some of the other ones that you'll see other people selling you just keep poking them down onto the desktop until it turns blue and then you're ready to go works really good around the edges of the butterflies and the glitter sticks pretty good You can tell I haven't been using these. They were just waiting for me to start doing shaker cards. That's originally why I bought them. But they seem to 
should work pretty nice on the edges. A lot of pretty colors. Somebody just posted a photo to my computer. How about that? I don't know if you heard that or not. Sorry. I always keep my baby wipes in a little zippy bag. Keeps them from drying out. I think I forgot to mention the company that I get my embossing powder from. You guessed it. From Amazon. The 16 pack from Hampton Art. Seems like the, the gold and the silvery, you know, those colors emboss a lot better than some of the other ones I have. I don't know, maybe it's just me. So there's my video. Hope you enjoyed. One more thing. I've got some sprays in my cabinet. Forgot all about them. <laughs>